This is a case of varicella zoster vasculitis in a 52-year-old female with a history of breast cancer treated with adjuvant chemoradiation therapy period. The patient presented with seizures, worsening obtundation, and diffuse maculopapular rash. There are patchy and confluent regions of T2 flare signal prolongation involving predominantly the subcortical and deep white matter of the parietal occipital regions bilaterally. There is lesser involvement of the overlying cortical gray matter at those sites. The diffusion-weighted images and ADC maps demonstrate focal regions of cytotoxic edema involving the periventricular white matter of the parietal regions. The pattern closely resembles that seen in posterior reversible encephalopathy syndrome, or PRESS for short. However, over multiple scans, new or enlarging sites of decreased diffusivity were visualized, while the T2 flare signal abnormalities were improved. These findings are not typical for PRESS. On review of the 3D time of flight MRA component of this exam, there are relatively symmetric regions of concentric vascular luminal narrowing involving the proximal anterior, middle, and posterior cerebral arteries. Varicella zoster virus belongs to the herpes viridae family and has a tendency to affect elderly immunocompetent individuals as well as immunocompromised individuals, such as with AIDS, lymphoma, and those on immunomodulators or immunosuppressants. Varicella, varicella vasculitis can result in multiple areas of segmental constriction involving the proximal segments of the cerebral arteries, as in this case. The small vessel vasculitic component leads to the multiple areas of high T2-weighted signal in the cortex, as well as involving the deep white matter.